hemodialysis is uh, it's a procedure that's done to uh, exchange products from the blood and a way to think of it is it's like a machine is functioning like a kidney outside of the patient's body uh, when a patient's own kidneys aren't functioning well enough to do the job that they need to do. So there are a number of ways that dialysis can be accomplished. Uh, the most common way is th through the blood and that is either done typically with a, a catheter, through a catheter, in which blood's taken out through one part of the catheter and then put into the machine and then out from the machine and then back into the body through the other port of the catheter. It can also be done through a, a graft or a fistula, which is a connection that's created surgically, in, uh, usually in a patient's arm, but they can be placed in other places in the body. An ideal patient for uh, hemodialysis treatments are uh, patients who are, may not currently have the access that they need. They may have other access that would be more optimal for long-term treatment or for short-term treatment. But um, another uh, instance is if somebody has a graft or a fistula in there uh, somewhere in their body, their arm or elsewhere, that isn't functioning as well as it should, uh, sometimes they can just sort of gum up over time uh, or the blood can not be flowing optimally and there's some uh, procedures or interventions that can be done to optimize the flow and uh, those are some of the procedures that we do here. The nephrologists at the dialysis centers will often do some non-invasive testing so they have some ways of testing the blood flow to see whether it's optimal uh, or whether there may be some uh, a blockage or narrowing somewhere in the system uh, that is making the flow suboptimal. And if that's the case, and they identify that the flow isn't optimal before the graft or the fistula, uh, the dialysis access occludes or blocks off completely, if it's still flowing but not optimal, there's an opportunity to intervene at that time and that is typically done electively. You can uh, do that more, a little more leisurely. However, if the access is blocked completely, that renders the patient without a way to get access, to, to get their dialysis uh, in a timely manner. In that case, uh, those patients will typically do emergently and, and that's a service that we offer here also.